Cam on the campus of SUNY Oswego looking off towards Lake Ontario in the distance. An interesting spray of clouds out over the lake tonight. No problems with the weather. No concern of rain just yet, mm, but. But we do potentially have some changes here. Pete, as we look ahead to tomorrow, are we expecting a washout? No. Flat no, but we do have an opportunity between now and the next 24 hours for two lines of precipitation. So let's talk about it because there's even more than that to discuss as we look ahead to graduation weekend and Mother's Day weekend too. So first things first, just to kind of put a little bow on it, the main things we're watching, passing precipitation, one passing bout of rain or thunder after midnight through tomorrow morning. So not raining that entire, let's say, six, seven hour period, but that's one area of rain. And then during the afternoon, scattered thunderstorms tomorrow will be in and over some spots, not necessarily everyone, but that opportunity presides over our area with a threat for severe weather, as I'll show you. After that, numbers are going to be lower. So tomorrow's high, similar to today, mid and upper 70s. After that, as we look ahead, to Thursday, Friday, and the weekend, it's more like upper 50s to lower or middle 60s at best. We're going to try to see if we can dry it out parts of the weekend, but it's very unlikely that we are going to have either day completely dry. First, let's focus in on the severe thunderstorm threat for Wednesday afternoon. Granted, it's very low chance. Take a look. These risks here go from one to five, very similar to like a hurricane force, category one, category two, category three, category four, five. Five is the worst, which by the way, over Oklahoma, they had a high risk, which is very rarely ever predicted by the Storms Prediction Center. The Storms Prediction Center is highlighting the 81 corridor east as a marginal about five to 10% chance that any one spot within 25 miles of any point has the opportunity for wind damage or hail, which is the primary risks or maybe some isolated flooding. There is a non-zero chance, like a 1% or 2% chance east and northeast of Oneida Lake for a tornado. Obviously very low, but we're going to watch all of that for you tomorrow afternoon. If watches are issued for ingredients coming together, we'll let you know. And if warnings are issued for imminent danger, we've got you covered on air, online, social media. Now to graduation weekend. Very little change from yesterday. There's likely to be a cloudy start with some drizzle. I'm hopeful for some intervals of sun. If that happens, though, I can't rule out a pop-up shower in the afternoon, Saturday, high 63. Sunday morning, again, lots of clouds, some intervals of sun, new pop-up showers and storms, kind of a similar day in terms of temperatures. Those high thin clouds that Matt mentioned, pretty sunset again possible tonight. That's out ahead of that first opportunity of showers right there and there. Notice there are some downpours and even some thunder and lightning mixed in. Then for several hours, many, many hours tomorrow, the sun comes out for most of central and southern New York. However, the north country is cooler and cloudier. But do you notice at 3 o'clock kind of a broken line of storms over Lake Ontario? By 4 o'clock, central and northern New York. By 5 o'clock, moving south and east. That would be the chance, if there is going to be a severe thunderstorm tomorrow afternoon, that's the best chance there. And, of course, we've mentioned everything else about Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. You can see that's a coolish period compared to what we just saw today. Stanley Law Skywatch. Not a cloud in the sky as we look from this perspective, south and southeast, it's deep blue sky. But as you look west... We have those high, thin clouds that we started this weathercast off with. You're up to date back inside. Thank you, Pete. Up next tonight.